Hello, how are you doing? Praise Jesus. I hope that you are doing well. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Tusabe. And in this channel, we learn and are shaped by the scriptures. You are in the right place. The Lord has brought you here for a reason and for a good purpose. In case you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe so that we may grow together. Stay tuned. <music> The topic of today is about letters of Christ and um, the theme verse is from 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3. I'll do a part 1 today and then uh, I'll upload a part 2 uh, probably next week. Yes, so uh, let's go into reading it. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3. You are, okay, let me start from verse 1. Do we begin again to commend ourselves or do we need as some others do episodes of commendation to you or letters of commendation from you? You are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read by all men. You are manifestly an epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink but by the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone but on tablets of flesh, that is of the heart. So uh, my main focus is on verse 3 where Paul writes to the church at Corinth and tells them that you are an epistle of Christ, you are a letter of Christ, read, uh, ministered by us, and uh, you are written to be read by men, and not by ink, but by the Spirit of the living God. And uh, Paul is trying to tell them that you are letters written by Christ himself. We are just ministers. We have been sent by God to minister to you. I think it's the la in the last video that I mentioned about ministry. So when I talk about ministering, I know if you watched the last video, you must have been knowing what I'm, I'm speaking about. So um, Paul is telling them that you are letters of Christ, but you are ministered by us. And we as believers, we are letters of Christ. Christ himself endeavors to write on us what he desires uh, that the world will see of him. Now listen to that sentence again, that Christ writes onto our lives, onto our hearts, through the Spirit of God, what he desires others or the people of the world to read about him. And so we are walking letters of Christ. We are an extension of God's kingdom here on earth, and we should act as exactly that, because that is our orig original mandate from back in the Garden of Eden, where God created Adam, Adam and Eve as his likeness. So he's, he wanted to extend his kingdom here on earth. And so I want to, uh, I've, I've, I've divided this uh, topic into three. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is how the Spirit of God writes on us. And so the first thing is through the Word of God, and the second thing is through our experiences. Then I'll talk about the condition, how, how you should be, or the condition of your heart or of yourself to be written by Christ, to be written by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit writes on us through the Word of God. I keep telling you that the Word of God in itself, you should not read it as a way of acquiring knowledge. Some of us read the Word of God so that we will have uh, words to tell other people when we are arguing or, or when we are going out for a mission so that we will have words to tell other people and like to defend the gospel. But ideally, or uh, the Word of God should not be used in that sense. The Word of God in itself is uh, very, very, very powerful. I'm sorry for the noises. Very, very powerful. It has, the, it is spirit and life. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 6, verse 6, I keep telling you this, that Jesus says that the words that they give you, they are spirit and life. They are able to produce life in you. Okay, that sound was too much. I'm sorry. So uh, they are able to produce life in you. And they are able to produce in you what he talks about. It is you, you don't read the word of God and then and then now focus on yourself to keep it. You read the word of God and focus on the Holy Spirit of God so that he will help you to keep it. By now you should have realized that I keep telling you that uh, the salv this salvation is not by strength, it is not by mind, it is by the Holy Spirit himself. He is the author of the Holy Word. He is the author of the Word of God. The Bible says that this Word has been inspired by the Holy Spirit. And so he is the only one that can help us to walk in accordance to it. So when you read the Word of God, 
you again not focus within yourself you focus on the holy spirit who is inside of you to help you in living according to it and so when when you read the word or when the word of god uh, is being preached to you by your preacher by your pastor and or how i'm doing this uh the spirit of god is trying to express to you what the lord requires of you and um if your heart is opened for understanding again it is the spirit of god that opens your heart for understanding i i love things about god because they all revolve around christ he requires us to do something but again we should now go back to him to help us in doing what he requires of us and it's all about jesus actually so when your heart is opened for understanding when you read in the book of acts chapter 16 verse 14 the bible says and the lord opened the heart of lydia and to understand the word and so and so um i'm really hoping that those those noises will not uh, emerge again so um it is the lord that opens the hearts of people and to understanding the word and so when your heart is opened for understanding uh when the when the word of god is being preached to you, you these are uh, particular word i will speak a lot of words in this video but there's a particular word that the holy spirit will birth inside of you that is in line with either your current situation or is in line with your future situation that you may not know about and that is how you should be alert at times we tend to resonate with only our current situations and so when uh, and so that is where you can find some people picking the uh, maybe maybe in 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 church when the, when the word is being uh, with is being uh, preached uh, someone will say that ah that word was not for me no who told you is not for you the lord knew that you were part of that congregation that he has sent his servant with a certain word so there's no way that you will say that that word is not for you because the lord knew that you are there so probably what you are talking what you are what 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 you're saying is that that word does not uh, uh align with your current situation but it definitely aligns with your future situations we are blinded to think that way and so that is why uh, I, i want to in, i want to show you something that is called responding to the word of god maybe i've mentioned it before uh but i don't think in my youtube channel maybe in my physical interactions but uh responding to the word of god is something that is so important when you desire that the, that the spirit of god will write unto you what he requires other people to read of you so when you you hear the word of god whether you have been uh taught or whether you are reading it by yourself the the, the holy spirit uh, kind of gives you a particular word even though you have read a lot of words he gives you a particular word for that season and it is your mandate through the help of the holy spirit again to respond to that word because our adversary the enemy knows how the word of god can transform us and is out there to steal the word of god or the seed of god which is the word of god inside of you once it is preached or once you read it when you read about the parable of the sower the bible says that they are seeds that fell on different grounds others on the roads others others in the field where the birds of the air came under uh, and stole them away and it 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 tra- translates this and says that the word of, the, the seed is the word of god and uh, the fertile ground is a ground or, or a heart that is open for understanding by the lord and uh, and these other ones that were that were taken away by either the birds of the air or the people that came and uh, stepped on them are the people that received the word of god but through the destruction of life uh, they, they 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 forget and these destructions of life they are uh, they are life experiences that just the enemy or there are kind of distractions that the enemy just brings around so that he will steal the word of god from you so that it will not produce in you the results that the lord intended And so what I'm telling you is that once you read or you receive the word of God you should respond to it. Responding to it is how like how Mary did when when the word of God came to him came to her telling her about uh that he will bear a son. And he had a lot to argue because uh her current situation was not really uh, in line with what Angel Gabriel was telling him was telling her sorry. and uh but he res- she responded to it and said be unto me according to your word and that is how exactly we should respond to the word of god and even more 
because sometimes the current situation is not in line or is not yeah, in synchrony with what is being taught but you should respond to it you should rise after the word of god and speak by your words the bible says that life and death is the words is in your mouth it is in your tongue and them that know this actually eat of its benefits and so when the word of God is being taught or is being preached to you or when you receive it, you should rise and respond to, to that will of God and say that may he, may the Lord or may the spirit of God write unto me what, what indeed Christ Jesus wants me to show of him or wants me to reflect of him. And, uh, and you should declare in the name of Jesus that the enemy will not take it away from you. That the situations that we'll go through will not, will not take, uh, the belief or the faith that you have out of the word of God that has been taught. Sometimes the word of God I've mentioned this is about the future. And you, you can be blinded not to respond to it simply because it's not resonating with you at that point. But you should be so alert and know that the Lord cannot just gather you to hear uh, the word. And then you, and then, and then he should, uh, I mean, he should not, uh, he cannot, we say that he does not gather his people in vain. And so he cannot bring you to a certain congregation of hearing the word of God. And then that of, that word of God is not, or is not, uh, is not for you. Every word of God that you hear is for you. Either your current situation or, or either your future situation. And for your future situation, you should be very, very careful. You should respond to every word of God that you hear. By telling, by telling God or by declaring in the name of Jesus that everything that that word of God came to do in your life, it must accomplish it in the name of Jesus. It must produce result in you in the name of Jesus. And that the enemy will not take it away. Either by planting disbelief in you the way he planted disbelief or doubt in the, in the heart of Eve at the Garden of Eden. So when you are careful to respond to the word of God and it produces result in you, this will consequently lead to a transformation in your life that will serve as you being a letter of Christ.